Hi, I'm uh, Vinay Prasad. I am the Associate Vice President of Satellite Communications at Tejas Networks. Prior to this, I have about three decades of experience of building a technology ecosystem uh, as well as a business ecosystem. So at the end of the day, whatever we do, it has to culminate into a real life application so that it gets benefit to the bottom of the pyramid team. So I'm keen to see how we can take the best of the best technologies to the common man or the person who is in need. So that should manifest to that particular. So I've been spending 30 years of my life uh, in doing this activity in a hardcore technology area and um, moved around into wireless communications, which includes terrestrial and non-terrestrial application, including satellite communications. And um, yeah, it's been a journey and building solutions in about uh, 55 different countries using this type IoT technologies. Yeah, absolutely excellent. I, I think it's a platform uh, in this atria as a university. Uh, I always believe that uh, it's a knowledge sharing because knowledge is something the more you share, more you gain. So there's no better place like an university like this, atmosphere like this, students like this, and bringing the industry experts uh, into the uh, academia area, university, getting that exposure to the students is something amazing which probably we didn't have when we were uh, doing our engineering days. I think the current uh, engineering folks are very happy and uh, also fortunate to have the culmination of uh, both uh, the industry and the academia together and sharing those experiences which has been you know, deployed on real time. And um, I think that exposure, if students can pick it up and uh, shape up their career to that is something which I think uh, is a good takeaway. Uh, for the students is what I feel. I think it's a it's a happening place now, especially if you look at wireless and wireline businesses globally. Uh, it's a happening time, and um, uh, with the advent of um, want of data and video that is going to go in the next future is phenomenal. I think today itself we can see uh, we send a voice chat. We send a, we see short videos. Uh, the the amount of video traffic on the YouTube and other platforms, if you see, is phenomenal. So going forward, the demand in that line will be much higher. So if the demand is there for meeting that demand, you have to get the technologies up and run. So today we we have already seen moving from 2G to 3G, 3G to 4G and 5G. 6G is a natural uh, progression for all sorts of video requirements. I think it's an exciting time that we are all in. And um, the generations, uh, you know, who have seen a simple dial-up network to a 6G is a transformative change. And especially for students who are in this era, should look at that history. Don't forget the foot because that's where the journey started. You have to put to stay grounded and then look at what else can be contributed to the world at large. So one is uh, there is a technology ecosystem. You have to collaborate, be humble, no ego stay grounded and say that this is a technology ecosystem. I know something, you know something, she knows something. Something. So we need to collaborate together so for making something happen. That is one. There is another side, there is a business ecosystem. So what do I do with all these technologies and meet that particular requirement to the uh, people at large? So it's a both ecosystem need to coexist and my invite, my invitation to the students is to take care of these two things very cautiously and responsibly and then um, you know get on to the industry who is contributing uh, to the mass at large and you be a part of that ecosystem and contribute to the greatest extent is what my invitation to students are. I think um, if you look back uh, the choice of what to study was uh, not an option to us okay in in the earlier times today you have more answers than questions okay only thing is you would ask the right question because google will tell you the answer but the only thing is if you ask the right question to google it will tell you the right answer but if you don't know how to question then we are at loss because you have too many answers today you don't have right questions so i think build that habit of you know inquisitiveness to look and ask right questions so that it helps and shapes up your uh, thought process. It could be technology oriented or a business oriented, doesn't matter. But wherever you are, try to see if you can ask the right questions and move forward. That's number one. 
data and information is in plenty but if you are able to stitch the dots that's another in, in, invitation i would like to give it to students saying that develop the skill of uh, you know connecting dots otherwise um, you know you will get lost you know you you think that it is uh, right thing in whatever you have done but actually it may not be in true things go back to basics your mom and dad would have taught you a small tinkle book okay where there are multiple dots and you join the dots it becomes an elephant you join the dots it becomes a giraffe okay same way you apply to your current knowledge base those dots are all your technologies 6g 4g satellite everything is there as a dot join it join it responsibly otherwise elephant will become some lizard or elephant will have a giraffe will become some on something else on him something else so you ensure that you join the dots rightly develop the skill in terms of getting the right uh, dots connected so that you know you have a right uh, goal to achieve is my note wonderful this is uh, i have i've been uh, coming into this university as a just a, a person who is to just walk in but today i have an experience of getting into the university and having a wonderful talk with all the industry experts here i think uh, experience has been great i would like to come back again and share whatever i know uh, to the you know uh, students and um, happy to share